Lori Pate. I'm the co-founder and creative director of Local Flavor AVL and the co-founder of Food Connection. And I'm Keaton Hill. I'm a new member of the Food Connection team. Uh, Flory focuses on recruiting restaurants to join us, and I'm focusing on our nonprofits and getting them involved. In Asheville, we are all about our food. Foodtopia, yay! But dig a little deeper, and you'll learn that Asheville is the ninth hungriest city in our nation. 37,000 people in Buncombe County are food insecure. A food insecure household has unreliable access to food. They don't know if they will have to resort to scavenging or even stealing just to get a meal. Food insecurity isn't about lack of food. The problem is an absurd waste of food. These two images look similar but one came from a dumpster. 40% of all food grown and produced in America ends up in the trash. A lot of that food comes from full service restaurants. And that 40% is good food. This is what four hours of dumpster diving gets you. All that waste is really expensive, too. We're talking $165 billion. It's also really heavy. 40% of the food grown equals 33 million tons. You could fill 45 Empire State Buildings with the amount of food that we throw away every year. So what can we do? Fortunately, Asheville area restaurant owners and caterers were asking the same question. On a windy day back in mid-November, I met with local flavor AVL member Mary Evans at Pax Tavern. And Mary shared with me a frustration, which as it turns out is not that uncommon in the catering and restaurant industry. The holiday season was quickly approaching and Pax had about 20 private parties on their schedule Mary knew that there would be leftover food, leftover good food, and that most likely that food would get thrown away. She knew that Local Flavor AVL deals directly with nonprofits, and she just wondered if a connection could be made. So I left our meeting. I was headed back up to North Asheville, and I passed the community garden that's next to the McDonald's. And I thought about the man, the mastermind behind um, the person who transformed this grassy lawn into a prolific vegetable garden that grows and donates thousands of pounds of food to feed the hungry. I knew I needed to call him and get him on board. And I did. (laughs) This is Buzz Durham. Um, He was immediately intrigued with this idea, and we reeled in Rebecca Gurney. The three of us sat down, we got so fired up and excited about the possibilities of this, and we knew that Grace Covenant Presbyterian would have multitudes of volunteers lining up to help with this. But then reality set in. (laughs) We'd be asking a lot of these volunteers to get out of their cozy beds at late, late night deliveries, and then we quickly realized the solution to our problem would be a paid, reliable transportation service. So then I immediately thought of my friend Woody McKee, and he owns Asheville Taxi. And we called Woody and we said, are you interested in this? He immediately was. He met with us. We met and we hammered out a bunch of ideas. Then then we played the what if. What if this? What if that? And Woody said, well, Pax is having a party tomorrow night. Why don't we just try it out? And we did. Food connection is just that, a connection. Our approach to this problem is just to work with what we've already got. Asheville already has a great network of local restaurant owners and caterers. When they have a surplus of food, they call the taxi and tell them the approximate time of pickup. And Asheville's got a local taxi service willing to connect people with food. We hire Asheville Taxi to collect the leftover meals and they get it to the nonprofits. Once they've gotten the food, they call the shelter and let them know that they are on their way. Finally, Asheville has an amazing community of nonprofits who consistently feed and shelter the homeless here. The shelter answers the cab's call and gets at least 18 portions of prepared food in disposable containers no later than 1230 the night of an event. 
We didn't start anything new. We just connected the dots. And so far, the design is working and expanding. Connecting the dots is not that expensive. We have bought cooler bags. We have some printing costs, and we pay the cab fares. We have four regular donors, PAX, Lexington Avenue Brewery, Eden Out Meals. And then on the morning of January 26th, we had a big donation. Corner Kitchen Catering called and said, uh, yeah, we have a delivery we have leftovers from the winter warmer event. Don't send a car, send a van. Asheville Taxi was on it, and within one hour, we delivered over 500 servings of sausages, sweet potatoes, black beans, and rice to the beloved house instead of to the local dump. The beloved house feeds 170 people every Sunday. They create community and shelter for all of Asheville, especially those on the margins of society. Amy and the folks at the Beloved House have used every bit of the top quality food that we've donated in the last few months. We're talking prime rib, salmon, coconut chicken curry. Because of this connection, the Beloved House has been able to reassign those food funds for other services, such as their laundry service for homeless people. And just three months after that initial meeting at Pax Tavern, we estimate that we've connected people with 700 servings of food. Now, in case you're wondering about liability, our food partners are protected by the Good Samaritan Food Donation Act. It protects all parties who are involved as long as they are operating in good faith that the food they're donating and receiving is in good condition. We've been amazed with the people who have offered to help, including all these musicians, 30 musicians, who will be playing on this very stage three weeks from tonight and donating their times and talents for the cause. The design in our city is about community and making vital and logical connections.